Well, Greg, the proposal is a lifeline for many low and middle income families who could get monthly payments from the federal government. The next round of COVID relief could include payments for parents. Families would get $3,600 annually per child under the age of six and $3,000 annually per child ages six to 17. They would lift four million children out of poverty across the country and cut child poverty in Washington state by 40%. Representative Susan Del Bene is one of the bill's sponsors. As these children do better, um, they contribute to our economy and it actually costs us less in the long term. The proposal is tacked on to the COVID relief package lawmakers are still writing. The IRS would distribute the dollars for families monthly and payments would start arriving in July. United Way of King County says low and middle income families are among the groups hardest hit by the pandemic. You know, it started with children not being in school, families losing jobs, families not knowing how they're going to pay food uh, or for rent. United Way says tax credits and payments to parents are powerful tools for fighting poverty. It really puts the purchasing power back in their hands. So we know that families are in need of food assistance and they need to pay their rent. Senate Democrats in the White House expressed support for the family payments plan. Leaders in the House of Representatives say they want to pass the full COVID relief bill in the next two weeks. And that family payments plan costs about $117 billion. The full COVID relief proposal comes in at almost $2 trillion. So we'll be watching over the next few weeks to see how lawmakers feel about this extra spending and whether that will actually get passed into law. Live in Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News.